Students in the Salt Lake City School District are angry after they say their children were humiliated in front of other students because they didn't have enough money for lunch. Fox 13's Tamara Vaithanua joins us live from the Uinta Elementary School in Salt Lake with the details. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Carrie and Dan. Parents say that their child was uh, treated unfairly, and their biggest hang up is that their student was given a lunch. It was then taken away and then thrown into the trash all in front of their other classmates. Never had any problems with the school lunch. The kids, just like every other kid, complains that the school lunch is no good, but they eat it every day. Yeah, unfortunately, my daughter called me during her lunch hour crying, saying that she couldn't eat lunch over $4, and I was never even notified she was in the negative. Kevin Conway says in the past he's received an email notification when his account was under $20. But there's a new system in place, and like many other parents, they weren't notified. Jason Olson, communications director for the Salt Lake City School District, says on Monday they notified parents with negative or zero balances. Parents were then told that their student would only be getting fruit and milk the next day. Obviously, parents need to be held accountable where they aren't paying the money that's needed to uh, provide these lunches to their children. But at the same time, it's, it's all about communicating adequately. In a statement, the Salt Lake City School District says, we understand the feelings of upset parents and students who say this was an embarrassing and humiliating situation. We again apologize and commit to working with parents in rectifying the situation and to ensuring students are never treated in this manner again. The situation could have and should have been handled in a different manner. Again, we apologize. Now, we have talked to some parents this morning. Uh, some say they are confident that the school district has done enough uh, to rectify the situation, but then you have those other parents who have they have lodged their complaints this morning with the school principal. They say that the school is backpedaling on this. Uh, they see this incident as a form of bullying, and they see, say the school needs to apologize to students. Uh, this issue has uh, come to the attention of two Utah senators, Jim DeBacchus and Todd Wheeler. They plan on dropping by here at Uinta Elementary School today for lunch. Uh, they want to talk to uh, the school leaders here, really get a sense of just how the lunch procedure works and what, if any, changes need to be made uh, to come up with some better solutions. Okay. Live so from Salt Lake City, Tamara Vaifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah. Sorry, Tamara. That's what I was going to ask you then. So it looks like they're apologizing, but they haven't exactly changed what their policy is from this point on. Yeah, and that's really what parents are waiting for, just some concrete answers. Um, with the senators coming out here today and, and talking and gathering some more information, uh, possibly the school district will be coming out with a statement later on today. But at this time, uh, they're sticking by as what they're saying as far as investigating and gathering some more information to make a better decision so this doesn't happen again. All right. Thanks a lot, Tamara.